After making videos on this YouTube channel almost exclusively about Java for almost five years, I can't do it anymore, so I've decided to quit. Quit Java, that is. In this video, I'm going to explain why a developer like me with over 13 years experience in Java would decide to quit the language he's most experienced with. And by the end, you'll understand my reasoning and the bright, beautiful path I'm following into the future. And when I say I quit Java, I mean I'm not going to be writing any Java code in the foreseeable future unless there's a specific use case that warrants it and I don't really see any right now. It also means I'm not going to be creating any videos about Java or anything to do with the JV even though most of my subscribers are Java developers, and that does pain me. To understand why I quit Java, you need to understand the context of why I got into Java. So let's go back to the beginning. Origin story. I got into Java because they made a study Java at university and that made sense to get a job in Java when I graduated. I jumped from job to job to job to job, got a lot of experience, had a lot of fun and ended up working 13 years in different Java jobs with quite a few gaps in between for holidays. Nice. And it was all kind of good. I was getting paid good money. I was enjoying it. But always at the back of my head, I thought, is this what I'm going to do forever? Could I be doing something else? And that's why I started blogging about the things I was working on in my job and created a YouTube channel to do the same. And every week I was solving a different problem at work and I'd create a video and an article about it. And nobody read or watched any of them. But I kept going because, I don't know, I had nothing better to do. <laughs> and eventually some really obscure articles and videos caught on and it inspired me to keep creating content. Eventually I decided to create a lot of content about a Java build automation tool called Gradle and tried to become the so-called expert in that area. Well, it kind of worked. And three years ago, I decided to quit my job and just spend all my time creating content, creating courses, and hopefully try to start earning some money from this. And that's what I've been doing for the last three years, basically creating content around Gradle, trying to improve my course and now book. And that's kind of where the problem lies. As soon as I quit my job, the only Java development that I was doing was for the example projects that I was creating for my online course and book. And that was fine for a year or two because I had all the experience of my recent job in Java. But over the last year, my interests have really gone in a different direction. And now rather than Java development, I much more enjoy working on my website, which is written in TypeScript, HTML and CSS. There's another web app I'm working on, same technologies. And I just enjoy doing other things like editing YouTube videos, creating thumbnails in Photoshop, basically anything other than Java development. That's not to say that I don't think Java is an excellent tool for the right job. And for medium to large sized companies, I think it's perfect. But even though I've kept my eyes out for use cases for Java in the different projects I've been working on recently, I really haven't found any good ones. And rather than pretending anymore that I'm some kind of Java developer and keep talking about Java, build tools and Gradle, I think it makes sense that I just quit and move on. Ah, oh, so liberating. And actually I really did quit Java three years ago when I left my last job. And I think it's just now that I'm realizing it and making it official to my, even just to myself. I still think Java is a good programming language, but I'm just going to be using the tools that I need to use for what I'm working on from now on and only talking about those on this channel. And what is my bright path into the future that I'm following? Well, since I left my job, I've made one project which I'm pretty proud of, which is all the learning materials for Gradle that I published on my website. But I'm moving on to work on other projects and I want to create as many other web apps or products as frequently as I can that solve actual real world problems that I'm experiencing and hopefully others will experience too. Right now I'm working on a tool for YouTubers to make choosing the best thumbnail really easy. And I've got a backlog of other ideas that I'm pretty excited to work on. And I think that's the reality is that when you work on small projects rather than big projects in medium to large companies, Java really isn't the best fit for that. But I'm looking forward to continuing to create cool software and learning the right tool for the job and whatever language you use in your day to day work. Hopefully you can stick around and we'll learn some cool technologies together. See you next time.